ladies. I'm so glad you joined me to burn the baby fat today. We're just gonna start touching those toes, opposite, opposite arm, opposite leg. Nice. And since we're starting, you can come here, you can just go knee level and always use your breath. We're gonna get into some circuits today. We're gonna do two circuits, five moves each, and we're gonna really burn that baby fat. Good. Just start getting those hips loosened up, start getting that circulation going. Nice, breathe. I always will tell you to breathe during the workouts. Nice, almost there. Good job. Keep going. Breathe it out. Good. Give me the last five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, just come in. Keep the body moving just so you can keep the circulation flowing. Burn those calories. We're going to grab our three to five pound weights and we're gonna begin our first circuit. Beautiful. Okay, this is our overhead press. We're gonna step out with our lunge and we're gonna press our arms and then come back in. Step out and come back in. Let's begin for one minute. Here we go. The important part of this move is to put your back knee towards the ground and really press those weights. You're gonna really burn that fat right around your middle. Good job. Press it out. Breathe. Back knee down. Beautiful. If you want to try to go a little bit lower with your knee, you can. Really accentuate the step out there. You'll work your hamstrings your quads, your glutes. This is so good for upper and lower body. Burn that baby fat. Beautiful, we're almost there. 10, good. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Great job. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's go into our second move, which are straight leg deadlifts. We're just gonna reach forward and we're gonna come back. We're gonna do each leg and keep your balance. We'll do that. Here we go. Breathe out. Each time you just wanna drop and then pull your arm back as you pull your belly in. So you're really using that opposite leg to balance and strengthen. And then you're pulling the arm to work your triceps, and your lats. Nice, we're gonna switch legs here in a minute. Keep going, pull the belly in, breathe. You're doing great. You should feel that through your front leg. Give me three, two, one. Great, let's change legs. You're just gonna pull as you point and come back. Here we go. All right. Try to keep your balance. It's a little bit difficult with this move. You can go down really far if you want. Pull your belly in, suck it in. But really try to keep your balance. Ooh, if you're using five pound weights, you're gonna feel that. Even with three pound weights, it's tough. Give me three, two, one. Great job. All right, so we're coming here. We're gonna be in our lunge position. We're gonna press our triceps up for one minute. Here we go. Really pull that belly in. Nice. You just start feeling that about now. I like to use five pound weights, but really what you're using here are six pound weights because you have both weights above your head. You can lunge into it a little bit more. Really press those arms. We're gonna change legs in just a second here. Good. Breathe, pull that belly in. Push off those legs. Great job. Give me three, two, one. All right, let's change legs. We're pressing up. Here we go for 30 seconds. 
I'm lunging into it a little bit farther on this leg, which you can do. And press up a little bit farther. Really work those triceps. Keep your elbows to your ears. Nice. Really work your arms and lower body. Last three, two, one. Take a deep breath. Bring it up. Bring it down. Beautiful. All right, let's shake it out. And we're gonna repeat that one again. So let's go into our overhead lunges. If you remember, we're gonna step out and we're gonna press up. Come back to starting position each time for one minute. Here we go. Nice. This one time you can step out a little bit further. Pressing up and then pressing off that back leg to return to starting position. Nice. Press with your arms. You're working your hamstrings, your glutes, your belly. You're burning that baby fat. Nice. Press it. Lower your knee. Breathe. There you go. Pull the belly in. Ooh, it's hard to do sometimes, isn't it? Good job. Almost there, step it out. Whew. Perfect, let's begin our countdown. Give me the last three, two, one. Good job. All right, shake it out. Remember our single leg deadlifts. We're just gonna come down, we're gonna bring our weight, and we're gonna pull it back up. Keep your balance, here we go. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each side because we want our body to be balanced on each side. Good, drop down. The most important part of this movement is really keeping your balance, pulling in your core like that. Even for me, it's hard sometimes. Good, give me the last few here. Give me three, two, one. Awesome, switch sides, get into your lunge position. You're gonna go down and bring it up. Here we go, 30 seconds. This one's a little more difficult. One side is always more difficult than the other because we have to stay balanced in our body. You can slow it down a little bit if you lose your balance. Good. Last three, two, one. All right. All right, bring it back to center. Here's our third move of our second circuit. We're gonna go to overhead tricep press. Come into your lunge position on the side. Pressing up, here we go. Press it up. You wanna get, stick it as they call, <laughs> before you move. Good, pressing up. So it's actually, like I said, Pulling the belly in and using six pounds to really press it up. Accentuate that lunge in the movement. All right, we're gonna get three, two, one before we change size. Perfect. Bring your weights down. Bring your other leg forward and press up. Here we go. 30 seconds. You feel yourself getting into a little bit of groove now. Your body's all warmed. You're working your muscles. You can burn that baby fat. Feels really good. It's really good to work upper and lower body at the same time. Twice the punch, right? Good. Almost there. Breathe it out. Good, give me three, two, one, good job. All right, time to take a water break. Grab your mat, we're gonna go down to the floor, put your weights to the side. Let's come down, we're gonna do push-ups on knees. For those of you that are more accelerated and have been working out for a while, you can do your push-ups on your hands. Let's start out with the knees. We're gonna go straight down and push straight from the chest. Don't cross your legs in the back, you wanna stay straight. Here we go, this is gonna be for 60 seconds. Pull that belly in. Straighten your arms back each time. So you really want to press those breasts together. 
for women that have been breastfeeding, this is really important. You're gonna find out that your muscles are slackened, that they're not maybe as perky as they were. So you really wanna press through your chest and this will do it. A lot of women ask me, do I need a boob job after breastfeeding? And I say, no. Just do a lot of pec strengthening exercises, which is the push-up. So this is great, push it back. Breathe, pull that belly in. Look straight down at the ground. Good, we're almost there. Ooh, this feels good in my arms too. All right, last two and one, push back. Oh, nice, so let's push it back. Press it back up, our second move is gonna be side planks. We're gonna come on to our side. We're gonna go into side planks. You're gonna lie down, stack your feet for better balance. We're just gonna be coming up. We're gonna come back down with our elbow to our waist. Here we go for 30 seconds. Bringing that elbow right to your waist. Now you're gonna feel it in your lower arm. This is really good for the hips after you've had a baby. You're gonna find that your hips are weak from carrying around the baby a lot. No matter where you are in your postpartum phase, you need to strengthen those hips. So we're lifting up, we're coming down. Feel that in your core. Almost there, we're gonna to switch to the other side just a few seconds. There we go, last one. Good job, ooh, I feel that. All right, let's change sides. Coming down right onto your elbow. Stack your feet for better balance. We're gonna reach up and pull. There we go for 30 seconds. You can look behind you if you want, or you can stare straight ahead. Just keep your focus. Remember, you're lifting up your hips and you're pulling, pulling your belly in using those hip muscles that you haven't used in a long time. Squeeze your butt. Good, you're doing great. We're almost there. Woo, breathe. Good. Give me your last three, two, one. Good job, ladies. Bring it to the front, just kind of shake it out. We're now gonna go on to our hands and knees. We're gonna do a hamstring lift. You just wanna have your hands directly below your shoulders, you're bringing your knee up, and you're lifting up towards the ceiling, squeezing that butt. Here we go for 30 seconds. Now the key to this, and you can also put a weight behind your knee. Today, we're just gonna do it without. For those of you who have been working out for a while, you can use a weight. You can keep this in and out, or I like to isolate the glutes. So I just press it up, squeezing that glute each time and breathing. Look straight down to the ground. Give me your last three, two, one. Good job, all right, other leg, here we go. Back leg up, pressing towards the ceiling, here we go. Look straight ahead. This really works your butt. I had stairs, three flights of stairs when I had one of my babies. And when I moved, I had a flat butt. Now this is what really gets it into shape. You're pushing up, squeezing that area. Nice, you can bring it in, or you can keep it tight, I like it tight. The last two, last one. Good job, just press it back. Woo! All right, our next move. We're gonna come onto our back. And we're gonna do our arms and legs straight out. This time we're gonna work just the arm touching the toe and coming back for that core for 30. Here we go. You wanna breathe out each time and really stretch it. Bring that toe to touch your finger. Breathe out. We're gonna work the other side. You guys are doing great. This is really lengthening. It's also a Pilates move, which I love Pilates. Good, almost there. Before we switch sides, breathe. Good. All right, give me three, two, 
one. Good job. We're going to switch. Bring your other leg up. Touch your toe. Here we go. Woo! Breathe. Pull that belly in. Those bellies, they want to come back, don't they? After you have a baby, you lose it and then you gain it. This will really help the lower abs. Woo, I feel that now. Touch your toe if you can. Keep it lower. We're almost there. Three, two, one. Good job. All right. Bring your knees in. We're going to roll it up. Woo. We're on our side crunches. This is our last move in our second circuit. We're going to do our side crunches with our knee to our elbow. So we'll bring your legs out straight, propped up on your elbow. You're going to bring your elbow to your knees and just crunch your side. There you go. We're going to work each side. This is one of my favorite moves for the waist. You can touch your knee. You can bring it behind if you want a little more. Good. And really crunch it up. Keep your breath going. Good job. We're going to change sides in just a second. Keep your breath. Touch your knee. I like to go way down behind. Or you can keep it small. Give me three, two, one. Good job. Let's change sides. Keep up the momentum. Keep your legs straight. Propped up on your elbow. We're going to bring our knee in to touch our elbow for 30 seconds. There we go. Good job. Really squeeze that waist. Reach behind you each time. Breathe. We're on our last move of our second circuit. Then we're going to repeat it all. Good. Almost there. Whew. Good. Give me three, two, one. Nice job. All right. Remember, this time I'm going to do half and half. I'm going to go half down with straight legs, and then I'll do half knees. Here we go for 30 seconds. I just want to show you how you're supposed to keep your hands directly beneath your shoulders when you're doing these, and press back completely. Really helps with those pec muscles, really helps with those breasts. Good. For those of you who haven't been working out as much, you can go down to your knees, Keep your legs pressed together. Pull your belly in. Good. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Press it back. Let's go right into our second move, our side planks. We're coming to the side, straightening our legs out, stacking our feet. We're going to bring our hips up, and we're going to come back down. Here we go for 30 seconds. Good. Really lift those hips. Really start strengthening those muscles. Kind of relax your neck, look back. Breathe, bring them up. Bring it back over. Woo, you should feel it now, you're doing great. I feel it. Good job, breathe it out. Almost there, lift them up. Woo, good. Give me three, two, one, good. Other side, let's bring it around. Straighten out those legs. Stack your hips. Bring your arm out to the side. And let's begin, 30 seconds. Nice, I'm stronger on this side, I feel it. One side's always like that, isn't it? You're gonna look back, come back, lift your hips. Just feel that lift. Feel the strengthening in the hips that you haven't used for a while, or they get slackened from childbirth. Good. Give me three, two, one. Nice job. Good. Let's just bring it center. Whew. We're going to go on to our hands and knees for our hamstring lifts. Each side we're going to do for 30 seconds. Remember, we're bringing our heel up to the ceiling, and here we go. You want to make sure that you squeeze that area right between your glute and your hamstring so you get a nice 
booty. I have another workout called Bootylicious. So I hope you join me for that one too. This is one of the key moves for that. You're lifting. Good. Feel that hamstring starting to hurt. Good. Give me three, two, one. Nice. All right, let's bring the opposite leg up. Look towards the ceiling. Here we go. Just keep your eyes down towards your mat. For me, I have to look at camera, but you don't want to strain your neck. Keep pressing little moves. If you want to make them bigger, you can swing the leg in. You can add your head. I like to isolate the movement, keep it small. So I'm really working my glutes. Good. Give me three, two, one. Good job. Let's bring it down. All right, let's bring it center. Let's just take a moment for a breath. All right, we're going to come onto our backs. Remember, we're going to lift our one arm to the same toe. So we really emphasize that waist. And here we go for 30 seconds. There you go. Breathe out. Breathe out as you lift up. Nice. Really working that leg, that arm, that whole stretch. Just relax your neck. Nice. Touch your toe if you can. Keep it small if you need to. Right here. Reach. Breathe. Good. Last three, two, one. Good job. Bring it down. Let's change sides. Lift your opposite leg. Here we go. One, Woo, reaching up. This is also really good for the hips. Strengthen them, opens them up, relax your neck. You can keep your head down if you need to, or you can work your abs more by bringing your upper body to your lower body. And breathe, good. Give me the last three two, one. Good job. Whew, just take a breath. Let's bring it on up. And we're on our last move, our side crunches. We're coming onto our sides with our straight legs. We're going to bring our elbow into our knee for 30 seconds each side. Here we go. Really crunching that side. You can bring the knee behind or you can touch your leg. Touch your knee if you can. Just want to make sure that you really press that waist. Feel that. Breathe out. Nice. Get some, get some momentum going. Pick up the pace or slow it down and isolate that muscle. Give me three, two, one. Good job. All right, let's turn it. Let's change sides. Extend your legs. Elbow on the mat. We're going to come up with the opposite leg and pull it forward. Here we go. Crunch it. Crunch it. You guys are doing great. This is our last move of our two circuits. I can't believe it. Woo! Makes me want to move it faster. Good job. I just got refreshed there. Nice side crunch. Good. All right, give me our last three, two, and last one. All right, ladies, great job. Woo! That is our second circuit of our burn baby fat. You just want to bring it all up. Woo! Roll it slowly, take a nice deep breath, bring your feet apart. Let's stretch it to the side. Bring your hand down the opposite side of your body. Here, let's take it to the other side. Good. Let's stretch forward. We work those legs a lot. Lift it halfway up. Stretch those out. Let's go down to the side for a little lunge stretch here. Back to the center. The other side. Stretch it out. Good. All right. Let's do a last roll up. Take a deep breath, last deep breath. All right, ladies, thank you for joining me for the Burn Baby Burn workout. 
I'm Loren Chabu, the author of Lose That Baby Fat. You just finished a 20 minute circuit workout to burn the baby fat. I hope you join me for some of the other ones. Bootylicious, muffin top workout. I'll see you soon.